Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GWT Tractor Talk, where we bring you the latest roundup of the news, the mods, and the funny stuff, so let's get to it. Now, first up, we have Tractor Hungry Pete from Queensland actually sent this clip over to me. I found one other funny related clip, too, but did you know you can barbecue with your tractor? Yeah, check it out. Sunday, July 17th, having a typical Lithuanian barbecue. Rot our rotisserie, our Japanese rotisserie, that is basically connected to the barbecue spit. And at the end of the spit, we have a fresh lamb being barbecued. Yeah. Buying a couple of sheep. I think there's 15 on you. Oh man, does that look good? I'm feeling kind of hungry guys. Chris, let's take a quick break. We're gonna be right back. All right, now it's time for my favorite segment of the week, Tractor Mods. First up, we have Sean who submitted an insanely cool refueling station. This is all homemade stuff that he sent over. Sean writes that his boss had the idea to create a forkable fuel tank with a reel and a pump on it, ran on a 12 volt and could also be charged by solar or a trickle charger. He says it's great because it can be placed in a pickup with a tractor, filled at a station, brought back home. The tank is an aluminum truck bed tank. The reel and pump are from a northern tool type of location. He's got the top that's removable so if you ever need to take everything out it can easily be done. I told him if you ever want to make one for me, I'm glad to buy it. Next up from Brett White up in Colden, New York. He was sick and tired of his Kubota snowblower digging down into the gravel, throwing rocks all over the place, causing a lot of premature wear, just making a mess all around. So he took matters into his own hand, fabbed up this, I don't know, deluxe, heavy duty, whatever you want to call it, kind of a skid runner that went all along the back of his snowblower. Brett says the goal was to make a modification that would elevate the snowblower above the largest stones while also grading the uncleared snow into a base. This skid runner extends the entire width along the back of the snowblower, adjustable in lift height from one and a half inches down to zero. This looks very well fabricated. Nice work, Brett. Here we have Paul Miller from Ohio who submitted his lawn roller. We showed one in a recent video and this is very cool as well. Roughly 2,000 pounds, five foot wide hydraulic lift on it. I tell you, that is one good looking lawn roller, but I'm not sure if I like the lawn roller or that 3005 model tractor better. They are both clean as can be. Here we have a homemade tractor cat from Michael Heron on the Weekend Freedom Machines Facebook group. Michael was on a really tight budget, didn't want to break the bank. Michael used a tote and some plywood to make this homemade cat for his John Deere 420, one of the classic garden tractors that's out there. Nice work, Michael. All right, and rounding it out, we have Randy Biz who is a repeat offender. You might have seen him previously in a Tractor Talk video with his homemade grill guard. I loved that thing. And this time around, his fabrication skills are on point yet again. He put together a fantastic video for this axle vent that he made in his shop. Amazing work. There's some more expensive production versions out there, but this is a great homemade solution. Randy continues to impress. I found out my threads were three quarter by 10. So I actually want to now make a little sketch Showing my part. Please forgive my artistry. I didn't do well in school. All right, I cleaned up the threads. You can probably hear the shavings crack on this one because it's too fluted. So I've got this at 1 inch 746. It's pretty close right there. So let me go ahead and I'm going to tack this in place. I got an O-ring sitting on it. I've got a piece of a hose. I've got an inline fuel filter and I've got a axle vent. Alright, time for your tractor tool of the week and we have something I've never seen before. An electric log splitter 
from Splitfire up in Ontario. Splitfire is highly regarded as making some very high quality forestry products. Splitfire now offers an electric motor version for their 10 ton splitter. They do a great job explaining the features, the advantages of that system in this video, so check it out. Here is the Splitfire 1165. Now this 1165 is kitted with the electric motor option. And besides the low maintenance on a unit like this, there's less noise, less vibration, and you don't gotta worry about poisoning yourself. On a snowy day like this, I can put it in the shed, I can, you know, you can put it in the basement, and you can split to your heart's content. You'll notice the machine has the same power as it does with a gasoline engine. The only difference is we put a bit of a smaller pump on it so that it can be managed by a regular 15 amp breaker. That does mean instead of being four second cycle time, it's now a six second cycle time. And now many of you may not have known, but we are actually a split fire dealer. So if you want to get more information on this, we're going to post some information on the website. We're happy to get you a quote and submit your order. Jack Pennington has our tractor of the week. Look at this shiny brand new Kubota M6060. This thing is decked out, has a grapple on the front, beautiful cab tractor, big old backhoe on the back. Is this so shiny and new? Congratulations, Jack. That's gonna serve you well for a long time to come. Hey, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're enjoying today's video. If you wanna see more tractor videos, we put them out all the time. Hit that subscribe button to see more. And if you own a tractor and you are looking for a tractor attachment, well, we'd love to help you out. We sell and ship all over the country. Check out what we have to offer at goodworkstractors.com. Our survey this week asked the question, would you prefer an open station tractor or a cab tractor? And tell us why. As of now, the cab tractors are winning that survey 57% versus 43% for the open station. I'd say the main reason looking through those comments is gonna be the cold weather, all right? And to a lesser extent, the hot weather. But if you wanna stay out of those elements, a cab is sure hard to beat. However, the biggest drawback is gonna be their cost with a bit of a secondary drawback being if you're working in a lot of tight quarters, if you have a lot of overhead uh, branches, trees, other obstacles in the way, that could be a big drawback for you as well. So if you wanna participate in a future survey, just make sure you check out our community tab on our YouTube channel. We post them there all the time. Now we all know you can only get the air conditioning with your cab when you get it new. Until now, you gotta check out this fancy DIY solution. Air conditioning and heat, man, he's ready to go. We are all about tractor safety on this channel and that is why we partner with Bora Wheel Spacers. If you are looking for a stability solution for your tractor, if you're feeling tippy side to side, wheel spacers can make a big difference. Bora's wheel spacers are made in America. They have a lifetime warranty. You can get more information on their website. We'll put a link down below. So this week's safety reminder is to always travel with your loader down low. Whether it's empty, whether it's full of dirt, whether you have pallet forks, a grapple, anything else, there is simply no reason that you need to be driving along, especially if you're on on uneven terrain, hilly terrain, anything like that. You're asking for that load to tip over, swing your tractor side to side. This gentleman had this happen to him recently as well. The one good thing that I see in this picture is that he did have his ROPS bar up, okay? It was fully extended in the, in the up position. He also mentions that it looks like his back will help prevent him from tipping over, so that's a good thing too, but that's why your ROPS bar is there for situations like this. But you can see with that tractor tipped on the side, that loader is raised up in a higher position than it probably should be for the transport mode. So I'm going to make an educated guess that part of the reason he tipped over in that situation was because this large amount of weight was up here instead of way down low. Listen up beer drinkers, now is your time to chug for a good cause. Bush Light and John Deere are teaming up to support a good cause called Farm Rescue. So for each case you buy, they're gonna donate $1 to support the efforts of Farm Rescue, which go to help with planting and harvesting assistance for families that have had recent natural disasters or major injuries in their family as well, and can otherwise not do it. So even if bush light isn't your thing, you gotta admit these cans look pretty cool. All right, time for our small channel spotlight of the week. This is a guy I've been following for quite some time. I think we share a little bit of a kindred spirit there in the entrepreneurial ship. So if you enjoy tractors, you like snow, you like snow removal equipment, and you like a little bit of the business aspect of things as well, then you gotta check out Nick's channel. He's a big inspiration. He started this company when he was super young. He's changing the game up there in Canada on how snow removal is done. A lot of Nick's videos are pretty short, so you can breeze through them pretty quickly. Make sure you check it out. Hit that subscribe button over there. Leave a comment and let him know we sent you.
week we do some swag giveaway to the previous week's most liked comments. So if you want to win some swag of your own, the concept is pretty simple. Just leave a comment down below and get the most likes on it. So congratulations to last week's winner. We'll be reaching out soon. That's going to wrap it up for us this week. If you have something to submit that you want everybody else to know about, send us an email at tractortalk at goodworkstractors.com. Again, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button below to see more. And if you need something for your tractor, we'd love to help you out. Visit goodworkstractors.com. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Oh,